Hey everybody, it's Jamie here, and unfortunately I am back with another jaw update. Um, so just to start things off, I just want to apologize for looking a little schlubby. Uh, I've been at home sick today, so that's why if I look sick, it's because I am sick. But I just had an appointment yesterday with an orthodontist, and so I wanted to update while, you know, everything was still fresh. So, yeah, to bring you up to speed, um, I last updated in November 2016, right when I got my braces off. And for a couple of years, things were really good. Um, I had a little bit of problems with range of motion, opening my jaw and moving it side to side. And I went to physiotherapy in 2016 and kind of regained some of it. Um, it kind of relapsed a little bit. But, uh, but yeah, for the most part, I didn't have any problems for a couple of years. And in the meantime, I immigrated to the U.S. and I became a U.S. citizen. Yay, that's my citizenship ceremony flag right there. Um, yeah, so things otherwise have been really good with me, if you care. Probably not, but yeah. Um, so starting at the beginning of 2020, I would be driving to work in the morning and I would have a lot of pain in this right jaw joint when I would yawn. And it was worrying, but I have had jaw pain in the past in the winter time, I think from maybe like tensing up from being cold. So I thought, oh, I'm just going to let it go and see if it gets any better. Uh, but it didn't get better. And actually it got a lot worse. And it got to the point where if I chewed something hard, I wouldn't be able to chew anything for the rest of the day. I would be in so much pain. And unfortunately that was March 2020, right when COVID uh, became a big thing. And I didn't want to go to the dentist unless, uh, you know, it was a life or death kind of thing since we didn't really understand COVID very much at that time. And um, it seemed like a bad idea to go to the dentist. So I thought, okay, I'm just going to eat some soft food for a while and see, see how I'm doing. So that did help. I just avoided anything really hard or crunchy. And for the most part, I was okay. You know, still had some pain, but, uh, but it, was, um, it was tolerable. So spring 2021, I got fully vaccinated. I said, okay, it's time that I go get a teeth cleaning and deal with this jaw pain. So I went to my dentist and complained about the pain. And he took a look at my bite and started asking me questions about my jaw surgery and had a bad feeling about that. Um, so then he kind of sat back and really kind of painstakingly said to me, I think you need to see an orthodontist. Uh, you know, you said he had jaw surgery, but I think it's relapsed. So I thought, oh my God, you know. That was really disappointing and I panic spiraled for a couple days after that thinking, oh my god, you know, what am I going to do? I don't have orthodontic coverage anymore, you know, I live in the States where it's not free anymore. So yeah, it was, it was bad. Um, but I thought, oh, I don't want to see an orthodontist, you know, I wear my retainer, my teeth are really straight. I I'm pretty sure I have TMD. So I went to a TMD specialist instead and they ran some tests and they were like, yeah, you have pretty significant TMD. So they uh, put me on a bite splint, which I wear at night and when I exercise and play hockey. And that really did help. Like it did help a lot of my symptoms. You know, I can chew a little bit better now. Um, you know, I don't have pain in the morning so much anymore. It just all around feels better. But it hasn't solved the problem with my bite, which is super wonky. And I will show you. But is it open here and here? And you can see it doesn't open straight. And it also makes a lot of cracking and popping and stuff when I do that. And also I bite on the side of my cheek when I open wide and close. So it's really super annoying. Um, yeah, so the bite splints have helped, but I said to the TMD specialist, I was like, well, what about my bite? You know, I might not be in a lot of pain right now, but I can't, can't live like this forever. Like my bite is so messed up, you know, it barely touches any teeth or any teeth barely touch. And I kept saying, you know, like, am I going to need more surgery? And he's like, oh, probably not. Oh, you know, you might need some braces. And I thought, you know, I'm not doing braces until I know for sure that, like, that's actually going to solve it this time. Because I had braces for two and a half years, and I'm still back in this situation. So uh, I saw him in September, and he said, okay, it's time to see an orthodontist. So I went to the orthodontist yesterday, and they did, you know, the images and the x-rays and everything. We talked about my history and my symptoms. And the orthodontist came in and she looked it all over and um, she said exactly what I was expecting her to say, which was, you need to see a surgeon. So that's really fun. So I had done some research ahead of time and kind of came to the conclusion that I probably have idiopathic condylar resorption, which is when your jaw condyles wear away. Um, I have a lot of the risk factors being a woman, I'm on hormonal birth control, I play sports. 
I had jaw surgery for a steep mandible and an open bite. So all those things definitely are risk factors for your jaw joints wearing away. So um, she showed me my panoramic x-ray and you can see that my left condyle is like completely deformed. Like it's not a normal shape. It's kind of like a mushroom shape to it instead of just like a nice kind of rounded edge. Um, and I found an old panoramic x-ray from 2013 and it kind of looks like that too, but it was obviously not all worn away at that point. Um, so the hospital called today and my surgery consultation is in January, which is three months from now, which just kind of a bummer to have to wait that long. Um, but uh, just reading about it, it kind of seems like I'm probably going to need total joint replacement, at least on the left side, maybe on the right. Um, so yeah, it's a really big bummer. Uh, I really didn't think that I would be in this situation again after going through three years of, you know, work. So I had SARPI, I had double jaw surgery and slight genioplasty, I had braces for two and a half years. You know, I diligently wear my retainer every night, really tried to take care of my teeth. And, you know, just, I'm not back to square one, but it's maybe square two, you know, it's, I would say I have more problems chewing now than I did before I had all this done. So it's a really big bummer and I'm, I'm pretty upset, but I, for like the last year, I've kind of just known that it was going to have to be surgery to fix it, even though my TMD specialist didn't seem to think so. I don't know why he didn't think so because you know, my jaw doesn't even open properly anymore and braces can't fix that. Like I, I knew that. So I don't know if he's just kind of hoping that I wouldn't pursue it or whatever, but, but yeah, I can't, I can't have this bite forever. You know, it's so dysfunctional, but, but yeah, so this is going to be the first of probably several updates on this part two of my jaw surgery journey again. Um, yeah. So I have been doing some reading about the different TMD surgeries and they don't look fun. I don't know if they seem worse than the double jaw surgery, but they definitely don't look fun. And especially because they go in from outside here and here, they don't go under your lips the way the jaw surgery does. But, but yeah, so I don't know if anyone still even subscribes to me for my vlogs for jaw surgery, but this is where I've been living in America with significant jaw pain. Hopefully not forever. So I hope you'll join me on the rest of this journey. I plan on vlogging it again. I feel like it's um, it's good for me and I feel like it's helpful for other people. So hopefully you're watching this and it was helpful to you. And uh, I'll see you, I guess, back in January 2023.